Hello all. So today I'm talking about a Honda with the P0452 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Honda P0452? Well, it's an EVAP pressure sensor switch low. And what does this mean? Well, the EVAP system was created to help stop gas vapors from going into the atmosphere so they get sent back to the engine to get burnt off. It's part of emissions. And one way it detects this is with this with this pressure sensor, which checks for a vacuum on in the system to see if it's working. And so the onboard computer is seeing an error with this pressure sensor. And what does the pressure sensor look like? Well, it's just a small little device that plugs in and it'll have a wiring harness going to it. Usually they'll be around $50. They're not really super high cost items or nothing. The main thing is where it's going to be located is it can be located in two things. It can be located on the EVAP canister, which is usually underneath the car by the gas tank. Or it, some some Hondas have it located on the fuel pump, which is quite often behind the back seat. And so it can vary on where its location's at. You have to Google your particular Honda to find out exactly where this pressure sensor is, because it, it can be located differently. But a common spot is on the EVAP canister, sometimes called the charcoal canister. And this is lo usually located up underneath the vehicle by the gas tank. It'll have like three hoses going to it and a, and a connector and a wiring connection. And that's a common place for, for it to be located. You can just go ahead and replace that whole charcoal canister if, if it is on there. Or quite often you can just buy the pressure sensor and swap it out. So what do you do if you have a Honda with the P0452 code? Well, the first thing to do is Google where this pressure sensor is. Find out where it's at. If it's on the vapor canister or if it's on the fuel pump or wherever it's at, you need to find it. Then once you locate it, check out the harness that's going to it, the wiring. And you could ohm it out to see if there's an open or a short because wiring could cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. So you want to make sure that wiring's good, that the, it's got a good connection going into it and all this. If you know the wiring's good and it's got a good connection, then you could just go ahead and replace out and replace out the sensor and that will usually solve the problem. So that's a basic overview of what to do if you have a Honda with a P0452 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.